City, see what the city has to offer, but there's two things I definitely gotta find cigars and, well, of course, coffee. So let's see what we can find and uh, see what we can get into. Cigars and wrapped. So we recently just did a video with Justin and Phil from Snakes and Stogies. I think I'm gonna send them a, a nice gift for that podcast interview we did. And of course, I couldn't leave Cuba without finding some fresh whole bean coffee. I didn't even have them bagging straight into a small container. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna brew these up when I get back. So stay tuned. We'll do some taste test videos and uh, cold weather caffeine report back on the adventures in Cuba. from Cuba. Uh, now time to get some rest and get ready for a new day. Alright, I am finally back from Cuba. And guess what I got? Cuban coffee. About to go ahead and get with Trey and brew us up some fresh cups of Cuban coffee. It's interesting, it really is. So, I, I already took a sneak test, but uh, it's really chocolatey smelling, really like a lot of earth tones to it. Um, and the first thing I noticed when we're looking at it, I don't know if I can show you on the camera, is that the beans are a lot, uh, so there are some that are fairly dark, uh, some that are a little lighter. Um, yeah, so you can see some here. This one up front is quite a bit lighter than some of the other ones. It looks to me like this was roasted over a fire. Mm. Um, interestingly enough, yeah, so probably like a rotisserie over a fire or maybe in like a pan um, because I see um, a lot of like hot spots um, in there and then actually you can kind of see there's like actually like some ash and charcoal on my hands. Cool. Um, so interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to to give this a try. There's a, it's really, really different smelling than like what we traditionally roast. Uh, so let's give it a go. All right, we're gonna go. grind them up and make us some Cuban coffee. Trying to see if I could. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there it is. Woo! That's dark. so real dark. Mm. 
But, I mean, interestingly enough, it doesn't, like, smell super overwhelmingly dark roasted smell. No, it doesn't. It's more like a, like a chocolatey, smoky smell to it. Well, and to your point earlier, maybe the way it was roasted, yeah. if it was like over it, it, I, I don't think it's a traditional way that we would roast in the U.S., so it's probably something that we Ready? Yeah, give it a shot. Ah. It's actually a lot lighter than I expected it to be. I I'll be honest, I, I kind of ah. worked myself up to to, <laughs> to, to a darker, yeah. more robust. I mean, that's not what I usually drink, so I was kind of hyping myself up. Real smoky. Not not a lot, not a lot of flavor notes that I would say typically of coffee. Like, I smell chocolate, but I don't really taste chocolate. <laughs> uh, it's very overwhelmingly like roasted flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's not a bad flavor. It's smoky, earthy, yeah, not bitter. It's not bitter at all. Yeah. Huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. All right. Ooh, what? I'm Cheers. impressed. Cheers yeah. to, Cuba, to, to, to Cuban coffee. There you go. All right. All right. Until next time.